Penguins fight off Predators to take Game 1 of Stanley Cup Final. After blowing a 3-0 lead, the Penguins got two goals late in the third period to win the Stanley Cup Final opener in Pittsburgh. USA Today Sports Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Penguins went 37 hours 9 minutes without a shot on goal and still found a way to defeat the Nashville Predators 5-3 in Game 1 of the best of seven Stanley Cup Final. Jake Gensel scored the game winner, his 10th goal of the playoffs, on Pittsburgh's first shot of the third period with 3.17 left in regulation. Nashville had erased a 3-0 deficit to tie the game 3-3 on Frederick Gaudreau's goal at 13.29 of the third. Obviously we didn't play a great game, said Pittsburgh forward Patrick Hornquist. We didn't get pucks behind them. It was like we were chasing the puck all night. Bonino scored his second goal of the game into an empty net with 1-0-2 left in regulation. I knew that we were doing a good job of defensively, Nashville coach Peter Laviolet said, although he had no idea that the Penguins had gone almost two periods without a shot on goal. How bizarre, the Penguins built a 3-0 lead on just eight shots in the first period. They were helped by a 5-on-3 goal by Evgeny Malkin and a goal by Nick Bonino that deflected off a Nashville defenseman Masha Zekholm. Nashville goal overruled, at 7.32 of the first period, the Predators appeared to take a 1-0 lead on a slap shot from above the right wing circle by defenseman P.K. Subban. However, Penguins coach Mike Sullivan used his coach's challenge and the goal was overturned. Here is how it was explained on NHL.com, after reviewing all available replays and consulting with the linesmen, NHL hockey operations staff determined that, Philip, Forsberg preceded the puck into the attacking zone, nor did he have possession and control before crossing the blue line. According to Rule 78.7, the standard for overturning the call in the event of a goal call on the ice is that the Toronto video room. After reviewing any and all available replays and consulting with the linesman, determines that one or more players on the attacking team preceded the puck into the attacking zone prior to the goal being scored and that, as a result, the play should have been stopped for an offside infraction, where this standard is met, the goal will be disallowed. No shots for Pittsburgh, the Penguins didn't record a shot on goal in the second period. They played two defensively and the Predators were pressing. But the Predators only managed nine shots on goal. Center competition, with the Predators playing without number one center Ryan Johansson, the Penguins have a distinct advantage at center. The Penguins' top three centers had three goals and two assists. Nashville center Mike Fisher had two assists. Predators center Colton Sissons did have five shots on goal in the first 40 minutes. First goal of playoffs, Connor Sherry, an important contributor for Pittsburgh in last season's run to the Stanley Cup, scored his first goal of this year's playoffs. Chris Kunitz set him up with a perfect cross-ice feed. Please subscribe my channel, iChannel.